Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am focusing on finishing my guest bathroom, decorating it, and organizing it. I just moved into my new house and I've been doing a lot of new decorating. So this was one of the first areas that I tackled, just the easiest for me to do first in the house. And I went and made a trip to Dollar Tree. We're also gonna do a DIY in this video as well. It's pretty small, but um, I really love how it turned out. Small, but makes an impact. Um, but that's just my opinion. So first I'm tackling the overhead um, cabinet space um, and just putting in some Dollar Tree organization bins. I went with this like khaki colored and just got some of those things filled up in there. And then I started to tackle the under the sink. I actually need to go back and get two more of the big round bins that you see here um, to put the candles inside. So for today's video, we're just gonna focus on the right side where I'm gonna fill it up with some of my recent Dollar Tree goodies that I found that I knew would be perfect for a guest bathroom. So just some facial wipes and serums and things like that. I mean, I doubt that so many of my guests are gonna come in, you know, and like do a whole facial. Um, I guess really it's just so much more for me. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, right? Just put it in my bathroom. But listen, this is how I'm doing it and that's what's going down. So I'm putting in all of those things love my Dollar Tree store and getting them organized and then again I'll go back and get two more of those round bins and then uh, organize the candles that you see there on the left hand side and just get the under the sink nice and organized. Now we're gonna go into some decorating before we head into the DIY, which is next. I'm not quite sure about this piece. I already had this decor lying around in my stash, you know, from a couple years ago, and I decided to put it up here. I'm going for a Tuscan farmhouse, but more farmhouse than Tuscan, so I'm not quite sure. Comment, let me know how you feel. But let's get into our Dollar Tree DIY. Again, like I mentioned, it's very simple. I really think that all of my Dollar Tree DIYs are on that simple level just because I don't um, want to, you know, spend too much time doing extravagant things. So I really love how this turned out. I just have this beautiful new jar that I found at Dollar Tree, very farmhouse looking, and then I picked up some dial soap also at Dollar Tree and cut them into cubes. I thought it'd be really cute to do that and then fill it into the jar and put it in the guest bathroom. And then even though there is the pump soap, it's this soap that I'm cutting is merely merely decorative but if you wanted to do it um, you know your guests could just reach into the jar and pull out one little cube and wash their hands with it so I think it really gives it a farmhouse look at least it does in my opinion so I'm just gonna fill the jar as you see here now and then we're gonna transport this cute DIY very country into my guest bathroom This guest bathroom has less countertop space than the guest bathroom in my last house. So what I did to create, I guess, more countertop space, I mean, it's not technically countertop, I put up this shelf. This shelf was actually in my office in the last house, and I really love how gorgeous it looks in here. Yes, it does block the mirror a little bit, but it is a guest bathroom, so it's not like a quote-unquote fully functional space that needs to be... It's not a space that needs to be fully functional, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I just think it's perfect in here. I added a more greenery just to brighten up and bring green up to that height. And then I, you can see I put the jar there and then added some hand towels. Those are also probably decorative just because I already have one hanging um, by the sink and then I have the bigger towel on the towel rack. So um, again, the ones that I put on top, I just think are just to take up some space up there and make it look pretty. Then I dropped a white bath mat on the ground. It's really soft and plush and I really love that I went with white. It's really crisp and brightens up all the beige and cream that I'm doing here. And then I put up a new shower curtain. It's very similar to the one I just took down. I just didn't want as many ruffles and I wanted it to have a combination of that Tuscan farmhouse and I think that that shower curtain really did it. And that's pretty much it. There is a part one, so you're seeing other things in this video that you didn't see me like decorate here, but there is a part one to this, so I will link it down below so that you can see how 
the, the decorating process of it all. Please give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment, let me know your thoughts on the shower curtain. Also, tell me what you think about the piece above the toilet. I'm still on the fence about it, and I just think that it's, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not quite sure. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you again soon.